Hi guys, so I said I'm going to do a video for you guys 30 days on um, 30 days to change your life, okay? Um, so yeah, <sighs> hopefully by now you are sick of hearing me saying, um, you know, when a desire is born, follow through with it. That's the law of attraction because all of us will have desires. Um, so the difference from people who will be successful is they'll follow through with their desire um, so let's just say we have 20 people in the exact same um, position in life, exact same age, um, same advantages, disadvantages, same opportunities in life, same circumstances, everything. And um, so 15 of these people will have the same idea, um, like, OK, I, I want to be a doctor. And then it's just a fleeting moment and they do nothing about it. And four of them will actually look up what it takes to be a doctor okay and then maybe start losing momentum there oh it's actually hard work and things like that i can't do that because of circumstances and one of them will do all of this they'll have the desire they'll look at what it takes and they'll follow through and they'll keep going so this is how we you know get to our destination and our goals um because we follow through after the desire. So if we're going to say in life, oh, my circumstances are why I can't be something, then it's just holding yourself back and building up barriers and things like that. Or maybe some people will say, my upbringing is why I can't, um, you know, get to my destination. Um, so let's look at it like this. We can have a bus so um, a bus will go from a to b get it to its destination because it has an end destination it has an end goal here um so then what about say a singer okay how do we become a singer so you can get singers that are terrible singers and they will be a success they will be successful singers they'll have reached their goal because they never gave up and followed through with it um, and the opposite is true as well. So you'll have an amazing singer, somebody who has an amazing voice, but hasn't actually made it in the mainstream. And this is the same thing um, because they're not following through with their goal. So um, what is success? How do we achieve success? How do we change our life? Um, success. A successful person is a person who is doing what they set out to do. OK, so like I said in the previous video, if you set out to be a taxi driver and you're a taxi driver, you're successful. Maybe not to everybody, in everybody's opinion, but in your opinion, in your mind, you've set your goal and you've reached that target there. OK, so let me quickly go back to the bus. Um, so if we put a bus into drive and, you know, stick a brick on the gas or whatever, it's still going to go forward. It's still going to get that movement, but it's not really going in any direction. The same is true for your life. We are still going to be alive. We're still going to be going through life, but with no direction because we haven't got an end goal in mind here. Um, so, yeah, like it's the same thing, you know, we're just heading a bus with no driver will just be heading um, maybe straight forward and um, it's sort of going, but it's not really reaching anywhere sort of thing. So what do we do about this? What can we do? Sorry, my wrist died hurting there for a second. Um, so what we can do, how do we change this? We change this by understanding um, that the laws of nature apply to everyone and everything. OK, so, um, you know, every action will have a reaction and so forth. You know, where there's a will, there's a way. You'll have heard all these sayings. Um, so, yeah, what we think we become. This can be true for anything like it can be true for anxiety so just imagine you're an admits an anxiety attack and you're telling yourself i can't breathe i can't breathe you know and you're thinking i can't breathe the more you feel and it, i'm not taking away from an anxiety attack it's very real that's why i'm saying you know 
we become what we think, we become what we speak. And this is why it's very important to retrain our mind. It's a very simple law that applies to everybody. Okay, it's like think negative, attract negative. Think positive, attract positive. It's the laws of nature. Okay, so let's look at a gardener, let's say. So if you're a gardener, you'll know um, you can plant whatever you want to in your earth, uh, in your soil, and it will grow. You can plant roses, you can plant carrots, whatever you want to plant, it will grow. The same is true for the mind. OK, so whatever you plant in your mind will grow. Doesn't matter if a guard, some gardeners plant poison ivy, it still grows. OK, some people are going to plant roses. So the, the in the mind, if you plant a poison, um, negativity, it will grow. It will manifest in your life. OK, so. Maybe you're in difficult circumstances and you're like, well, no, I didn't want these negative things to happen to me. But on some sort of level, if you was worried about it, then you can see why it's come into your life. Or maybe even, let's say, the worry is not actually um, poison in your life, but it could be holding you back from the best part of your life doing what you actually want to do, what you're passionate about, what you feel your calling is, okay? So, it, like I was saying, it's a, if a gardener plants carrots, carrots will grow. If, you're, if you plant in your mind um, a positive idea, that will grow, okay? Because we reap what we sow. You will have heard that millions of times as well. We reap what we sow. So, what we plant will grow here. <clears throat> Excuse me again. <laughs> um, so the 30 day challenge, what do I want to do? What's the magic secret? There is no magic secret. OK, I'm sick of telling you guys um, there's no magic secret here. You've just really got to put action behind it. OK, so I'm going to give you some pointers, though. Don't get me wrong. I didn't make you sit through this video for no reason. I'm going to give you some real pointers here. Um Let's see. Find out what you desire most. Like I said in the previous video, what's your calling? What do you desire most? Is it to be a singer? Is it to be a gardener? Is it to be a taxi driver? Whatever it is for you guys. I really want you to think about this first, OK? And then we're going to... Um, set a goal. We're going to make a vision board. Yes, we're going to write this down where you can see it every single day. So for, you know, the first day, what are you going to do? You're going to sit down, right? What do I want out of my life? If I'm going to die in three months, then maybe what, what should I, what would I most like to do? OK, or maybe you already have your goal or your calling in mind. And, um, you know, you just want to head towards that. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to write it down. We're going to make a vision board somewhere. You can see this every day when you wake up and maybe every day when you go to sleep. You've probably heard me saying I used to stick sticky notes on my mirror. So I had been sure to look at it first thing in the morning. I'd wake up, see it uh, because then it's, you know, putting these positive messages into your head your goal into your head okay so then i want you to research what it is um that will help you get closer to your goal so if you want to be a singer maybe you need exposure if you want to be a teacher maybe you need education so i want you to look up these things what it's actually going to take what will get you closer maybe what qualifications you need so if you're, you want to be a singer um, and you need exposure or maybe you could make some calls and be like, so what people do I need to, you know, Google, who doesn't have Google, you know, Google, maybe make yourself a YouTube video of you singing just to get yourself out there, get that exposure, whatever it is, I want you to write down what you think you need or do actual research on what you need to become, whatever it is you want to become um to head in that direction okay um to 
take steps, action towards your goal here, your desire here. Um, and then I want you to introduce yourself as this. So like when you're speaking to somebody and they're like, or you meet new people and they're like, oh, hi, so what do you do? And you say, I'm a singer. Yep, that's me. I'm a singer. I just want you to do this for 30 days. What have you got to lose? What, please tell me what you have to lose. You have nothing to lose, but everything to gain from this. Okay, guys, you know, 30 days, if you can't believe in yourself for 30 days, why do you expect other people to believe in you? How do you expect to reach your goal? You've just got to really tell yourself this, like, yeah, I'm going to go for this because maybe you can watch motivational speaking and they can get you all hyped up and, you know, take you 50 percent of the way. But you ha have to carry yourself the other 50 percent. OK, so you have to put action in. It's like the laws of nature, like every action has a reaction. OK. So when we start putting this action in, we're going to start seeing results. When you start taking these steps, you're going to start moving closer to your goal. You will not be able to deny that, guess what? I'm a step closer to my goal than yesterday. The moment you write down your goal, you're successful because you're telling yourself, I am now putting my focus in this direction. I'm just going to do it for 30 days. I'm just going to be selfish. People, you know, have labeled this selfish for many years, but it's not selfish. It's self-care, self-love and self-preservation. I've often said you can't help nobody if you can't help yourself. So this is what we want to do, you know, um, move forward like this. So whatever it is for you, um, oh, I'm a shopkeeper, I'm a shop owner anything like and it works like both ways like it's terrible to say so but say a person who's a crackhead a crack addict or whatever you call them they will set their goal for the day to find this drug and they will achieve it every day so where your intention your focus is you will get there without a doubt there's nothing that will hold you back no circumstances will hold you back nothing in your outward world would hold you back from doing it okay um say a bank robber they will think okay i'm gonna they'll have an idea i'm gonna rob a bank and then they're gonna set things in motion okay i need to plan this out i'm going to maybe look at where the cameras are in the building. I'm going to look at how many guards there is. What's the best time of day to go? And then they'll go ahead and do it. I'm not saying it's good, but the law works for everything. OK, so don't. the only thing that will hold you back is like self-sabotaging, letting these doubts creep in and tell you, no, I can't do this. No, um, I've told I've got something else to do for somebody else today. I've got to look after the kids today. There's so many things that we'll tell ourselves. So a lot of people, like when I was mentioning the first 20 people, and I said 15 of them will, you know, immediately have the desire, but also let, you know, 20, 30 negative things come in and beat down this desire in their head. And I'm not saying when you get onto this 30 day thing that, um, you won't have any doubts. I'm saying like the gardener, weeds will grow in your mind. Pluck them out. You know, you can do this every day as an exercise. I've done this myself, visualizing my goal in my head and visualizing it as a garden. So if doubts started to grow, say I would visualize the doubt, maybe, oh, I can't do it today because I have to cook. I would pluck that out yeah and um go cook or maybe go order a takeaway and focus on what i was doing so all i'm asking you guys is for these 30 days please just put your focus into this like i said a vision board set a goal take the steps you want to take for 30 days 30 days only 30 days only what do you have to lose Please, please, just somebody, please tell me what do you have to lose? Um, 
I want you to, let's go back to the bus analogy again. Um, so, you know, th let's think about the driver of the bus, okay? He's in charge of getting the bus from A to B. And he's even in charge of people's lives on that bus because if he just sits back and doesn't take control of the wheel, then it could run somebody over who's outside the bus. It can cause injury, death to people inside the bus. So he has to take control. That's what I'm asking you guys to do. Just take control, take responsibility for your life for 30 days. Not like I can't do it because of other people. I just want you to say, I'm going to prove Stephanie's wrong, okay, and that this doesn't work. Go ahead, prove me wrong, please. That's what I want you guys to do. If you get that much passion behind you to be like, you know what, I'm going to prove her wrong that it, you know, it doesn't work. I'm going to take these 30 days and prove that I did everything she said and it doesn't work. It's as simple as that. It doesn't work. I'm going to start ringing round agents and find them. Um, is there any local bars I could sing at? Is there any local church anywhere? You know, just to prove her that, you know, she's wrong. Do that. Prove me wrong. Just go ahead and do it. Prove me wrong. It's like... Um, anything that gets you guys moving in the right direction, I just want to do that for you guys. So, yeah, so the bus driver, I want you to be the driver. I want you to steer your life in the direction you want it to go for 30 days. That's all. 30 days. Take responsibility for your actions. So, let's just say you want to be a teacher but you are sat home every day not learning for 30 days try an online course okay don't say i'm i can't go outside because of this i have no money for this research online courses and things like that anything do anything that's a step towards your goal see your goal every day and i want you to be excited like i am a step closer to my goal today you know, um, I really put the effort in today. Give yourself a pat on the back and feel good about it, that you're taking steps and you're taking responsibility for your life. You're driving your bus because the mind is the most powerful thing there is. Um, you'll have heard that as well, like a million times. It's not. The, I'm not telling you anything you don't know. That's the crazy thing about it. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. This is no secret out here. And I've done this myself, sat there and said, I want summer, and then not followed through with the action. Hey, who hasn't wanted to be a singer? I've always wanted to be a singer, you know, and um, never followed through um, with the action. Maybe when I could have, like, took vocal training or things like that at different stages in my life. You know, only I held myself back. And what I'm saying to you guys is it doesn't matter about age. It doesn't matter about anything. We use, like, 10% of our brain. Like, you ask a successful person, what did it take to be successful? Just probably drive. They didn't have, you know, so many people <clears throat> will say this, they started from the bottom, now they're here. <laughs> so cliche. Um, I know Drake didn't start from the bottom because I know he had a little change anyway, but don't let's not get off track here, okay? Um, so, yeah, I'm, all I'm asking you for is to give yourself 30 days. Get Just give yourself 30 days. Really try this, okay? 30 days. Get up earlier. Set your intentions from when you wake up. Even if you feel tired the first couple of days, I'm telling you, you will sort of re-energize because you're doing something you're passionate about. And you'll see the difference between going to like even a normal job and what you actually desire to be. The energy is different. You know how I spoke about that in the other video. I can be drained from doing something I don't want to do for one hour and I can do something I want to do for 20 hours. 
you know, we had that different motivational things in us. So, yeah, we can, we want to plant something in our earth because the mind's the same as the earth. It really doesn't care what you plant in it. So it doesn't care if you plant bad in it or poison. It doesn't care that you plant negative things in it. It doesn't care, care if you plant anxiety in it. It will grow. And it really will. If you don't change what you're feeding into your mind, then you will not change your outside world. It, it really is that simple. Um, I think somebody had commented. What did they comment? Um, I forgot. They they commented something and I wanted to reply to them. But um, yeah, I forgot anyway. Um, it's the same as well, like, like I said, for a bank robber or anybody, no matter what you plant in there, it will grow. The mind wants you to, um, grow, you know, the great divine didn't, you know, build this staircase for it to lead to nowhere. Okay. People came from somewhere and they are going somewhere. I heard that fabulous quote somewhere. Maybe you guys can tell me, but, um, <laughs> yeah, we are going somewhere. Tell yourself you're going somewhere. You're steering your life in the direction you want it to go. Okay, because believe it or not, you're exactly where you want to be. That's the hardest thing for people to admit to get out of their own way. And I, I'm telling you, I've sat there and said, I don't want to be here because of this. I'm here because... um. My circumstances, I have to be a mother at this time or I, I'm from a poor part of town or many things um, we tell ourselves just so it's an excuse so we don't do anything because change is hard and changing what we're feeding into our subconscious is very hard. You're only going to attract what you're vibrating at, okay? So your whole body is like, you know molecules and it's like vibrating okay so if you look at your body under um, a microscope you'll see it's vibrating all the time even when you die um, it's vibrating so fast so that's the energy we're sending out that's the vibration when I'm talking about what vibration we put out so when you're vibrating like sad or down or from lack it will be slower so even when you die and your spirit leaves your body, um, if you look at the body in the morgue under um, a, te a, a telescope, <laughs> under a microscope, it's still vibrating because it has to then turn into dust. OK, so everything needs movement. OK, this is what I try to get across. Maybe I'm not saying it as eloquently as some people, but I'm hoping that I can say it in a way that people like me can understand because I'm just an everyday person. And that's all I've ever tried to put across on my channel. If I can do it, you guys can do it. You really can do it. And I believe in you guys like... One person I met through my channel, they was like, oh, uh, I can't do it because of money situations. I, I have to focus on work and I can't do this and that and that. And my favorite saying is where there's a will, there's a way. I've been saying it more these, this last week because when my phone was broke and my equipment was broke, I woke up and I'm like, what? I'm not letting that hold me down. So the will was greater than the actual event, let's say. OK, the will for me to get up and speak to you guys again was greater. So my focus was on doing that. So my intention, my vibration, um, my body was vibrating um, where I'm like, OK, I'm going to get it out there. OK, and that's exactly what happened where there was a will. There's a way. There is absolutely a way. Jesus said it. All the prophets believe in the same thing. Your word is your wand. 
I know there was a great Margaret Thatcher quote that said, um, you know, when you think it, you'll speak it. And when you speak it, it becomes a habit. I'm not going to get it correct here. But then habit becomes your life. So do you see, you know, you are what you think. You will become what you speak. So for 30 days, think positive, speak positive. Even if it's a lie. Hi, I'm a singer. Yeah, I've sold more records than Beyonce. If that's what you want, if that's your desire, that's where you're going with that, okay? If you're meeting strangers they don't know, you're doing this for yourself for 30 days. You can't be bothered about what other people think. They're not bothered about what you think it takes to get to your goal. Look at Cardi B. If her goal was to be famous, okay? Whatever route she took, she took. And she is where she desired to be because she didn't give up. She followed through with this. You know, and now she's where she desired to be. So in her life, she's successful. So if you desire to be famous, then you can be. I mean, these days, you can be internet famous in a few minutes. Things can go viral and nearly everybody around the world will have seen your face. So, and it's really crazy, but... It really is what it is. It really will be what it will be. If you have that focus, your intention, like, okay, I said I wanted to make a video about um, I manifest a car um, because i seen a car. i seen a picture of a car. I have the exact car now, by the way, the exact car, the exact color, the exact everything. Okay, so I'd seen a car. And it was for sale. And I was like, oh, I want a car. But I was always making excuses and stalling. Oh, I don't want the extra bills. And thing is, when I truly, I was like, I want a car. I want to manifest a car to see if this really works. So I spoke to people. Hey, how do I really, really manifest £10,000? Um, and... I started speaking about it like I'm going to manifest £10,000 that same day. And I said to somebody, how would you go about manifesting £10,000 really quickly? Um, and this person um, like works in the stock market or something like that. So I was like, huh, you know, I was thinking I was taking a shortcut. Um, so I was like, huh, what would you put your money in? to, you know, magnify this and that. And they said to me, um, well, you can, there's ways to earn it. You can do this or you can be lucky and win it. I was like, huh, I can win it. Let me try this. So I went on to a lottery website and I had no, I, I had a little bit of doubt, like, I'm not going to win £10,000, okay? Um, but I went onto this website and um, I, I thought I'm being conscious about what I'm putting into my mind and what I'm putting out there. So I got myself in the vibration of being happy. I started listening to music. I was dancing around. I was thinking of positive things. I was visualizing myself in this car. Like I'm gonna be playing this song. I'm gonna be singing my head off. And um, then I started to gamble. I put five pound on and I think I played for a, a few hours and I won 350 pound I was like hey I actually won I said to this person I won this portion of the 10,000 I um then put action behind it let's say uh, I put a promo out like a sale out or something made this much of the 10,000 and um you know, then I got certain things where I was like, I made the 10,000 and I had, I think I had 1,400 left. And I was like, I want another 1,400 because I want car insurance or something like that. 
And so it wasn't that it just fell out of the sky, this manifesting of £10,000. It was the desire was born. I started speaking on it and then I started taking action on it. I don't suggest you gamble. I was just like, let me try and see because this person had mentioned to me, um, you can be lucky. And win they just mentioned on a whim. So I really started to put my focus because we're always manifesting, don't get me wrong. The law of attraction is always going and going and going. That's why we're attracting things we don't even want because we're not consciously attracting things. This is why I say, get a vision board, write it down, be clear, okay? Be clear because law of attraction doesn't stop just because you don't know about it. No, it's going all the time. So yeah, I don't um, suggest people gamble. I, I don't. I'd already manifested quite a lot before this point. But I was just like, I wanted to actually record it for you guys and be like, look what positive thinking can do. And I did record it and then I didn't want to put out there for people to gamble. Anyway, let's stay on track here. Um, so I'd won part of the money and then I was like, no, I want this extra couple of thousand pound because I have my goal in mind. I have this car in mind and it's going to um, maybe be bought by somebody else pretty soon. So I'm putting my action behind it. I'm putting my focus and drive behind it. I'm going to put out more videos. I'm going to do sales. I'm going to do things to generate this money, this income. Da -da, I did it. So when people are like, I sat and I prayed uh, on these videos and guess what? I manifest a hundred thousand pounds. They did because they you watched it and they told you nothing about it. OK, they didn't tell you to follow through with the action. But that's what I'm here for. I'm here to tell you, follow through with the action. Like I, I said, I was speaking to my son today and he said um, he likes that I care about my subscribers and that I'll always comment back to them. I'm not ignorant like some um, YouTubers will just ignore them because they're like, they've got all these fancy things and fancy writing. Like I manifested a million dollars. Yeah, because 20 million people wanted to know how to manifest 20 million dollars. So it worked for them and I've watched them too. I've watched them too. OK, this is how I know. And I knew they never taught me anything. Because it's the action that follows the desire that is the thing, the laws of nature. And I didn't learn this from those people who was actually manifesting their money. So they're right. They did manifest that. Um, I, I learned it from like Nikola Tesla and the laws of nature and everything being connected and every action having a reaction okay so i'm i'm not telling you guys um there's a shortcut i'm telling you we reap what we sow what you plant you will get out okay you can see i'm, I'm passionate about this i'm crazy i'm clapping my hands like a seal or something but I just want you guys, if you can promise yourselves for 30 days to do this, I promise you, even if you did one step a day, you're 30 steps closer to your goal. Do you see how this, you know, there's no um, magic to it? There's nothing hidden here. It's, it's not a secret. I've seen the book called The Secret. You know, like everybody else, I've seen them on YouTube. Not many people are going to watch the videos that actually give you the real information because I'm not doing all fancy editing. I want to be real with you guys because I want you to have real results. What you put into your mind, into your conscious mind, goes into your subconscious mind. OK, so let's say in the beginning, your subconscious mind has already been filled as a child with doubt. We can't afford that. You can't be a footballer because you need to go to school. 
So we've already filled up our subconscious mind by the time we're adults and grown. So how do we retrain it with our conscious mind telling ourselves we can, we can, yes, we can. Barack Obama, I don't know why that just came, but yeah. Um, I bet he never thought he was going to be president, but there you go. He had a goal and he achieved it. If you believe you can achieve it, you can. I'm telling you, Donald Trump. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. So, yeah, guys, when you are filling your conscious mind, and it's going into your subconscious. In the beginning, it's going to feel like a power struggle. This is where doubt and things want to tell you you can't because it's been that way for so long. You know, this is why I tell people, don't try and change people because it's hard enough changing yourself. If you try to change yourself, you know how hard it is, like getting over doubt and fear and worry. So if you do anything, yeah, write down your goal. Write down your fear. And for 30 days, pretend this fear doesn't exist. You know what? If you want to, visually burn it on a candle and say, this doesn't exist. So then you can um, focus on this for 30 days. Okay, then you can just... Focus on your goal, okay? Good luck, guys.